Hi everyone, welcome to part 4 of the walkthrough for building a backbone application. This time we'll finally get this bad boy up and running. So here we go. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is make some, add some stuff to main.js. Uh, so I'll just copy and paste that from a file that's already completed because you guys don't want to waste your time watching me type because you know how bad I am at that if you've watched any of my other videos and I don't want to have any errors pop up. So, here we are. We'll just go ahead and save that right away. And I'll walk you through this. Um, so the first thing is just the router, which we instantiate. Remember we created this uh, load templates and as soon as the templates are loaded it runs this, which starts up the application. So we just create a variable called app, which is actually attached to window because there's no var keyword here so it's global uh, so we create the new app router and then we just start backbone's history recording so if you look up here there's a couple interesting things all of these functions are calling this dot before um, and then they send in a callback so what is this what is before before essentially just make sure that our collection of wines our wine collection is instantiated and filled up so it does the fetch um, so just be, make sure that it's filled up and that we have the list on the left hand corner is built and ready to use before we try doing any of the other views now I'm not sure if this is necessary. I think that if we just did, made sure we did this in the initialize function, we would be okay, but I haven't experimented with that. So we're just going to leave it with the before thing. So yeah, it, if the wine list exists already, we'll just call that callback function. Otherwise, we'll wait until we have a success from the Ajax and then we fill the left hand sidebar and then we call the callback so uh... the other interesting note is show view um, this is used by everything that changes the main view so this uses this dash show view this dash show view this dash show view so this is our main function for creating views. Um, if we right now our application is so simple, this is the only view that really changes. I mean, this one gets uh, extra views added in, but it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, we'll just take a look at that. If we had more than just the one view, uh, we probably have multiple things. So change header view, change sidebar view, change main view. Alright, so let's take a look at show view. Uh, so it takes a selector and a view. Selector will be used for placing the view into the HTML seat right there. Um, and then view is the view that we create. See, it creates a new view, pretty much always creates a new view. It sends that in. And that's what gets rendered in that spot, and it gets saved as this dot current view. So when we come in here, what happens is it checks to see if we have a current view. The first thing, it, if, it, if it does exist, we'll close it um, using that function that we created here up at the top. So it automatically removes it from the, the DOM and unbinds any event handlers. Uh, then the next thing it does is it finds the place where we need to inject it and renders it there. Um, then it sets the, new, the current view to the current to the new view and returns view. Although I don't think we even use the return value at all in this. So those are the two main point or er, points uh, to go over. So now we'll just run through it and look at everything. So initialize. Uh, this all it does is sets up the header view in the header area up at the top. Which is just the new wine button. Um, 
And like I was saying before, we could replace the before function and just put it in the initialize, I think. Um, I haven't tested it, like I said, but it probably should work. Um, then we look at our routes. The r first route pretty much will match anything. It doesn't, it matches not having anything, or it matches just plain old the hash mark. And it says to use the list function. The list function does this dot before, so to make sure the wine list is available, and it will show the start view, which is the new view that I created in the last video. I think it was the last video. Um, Previously, it just ran this dot before and left the HTML as it was. So I added this dot show view and shows the start view. Uh, so when we want a new wine, it runs the new wine function, which is down here. And really simple, it just creates a uh, new wine. So you, you puts this dot show view, show, puts it in the content creates a new wine view and for the model that it sends in it creates a new wine um, then wines with the ID so whenever we have an ID number there it will run wine details and then it will send the ID in um, so we look for through the wine list and get the model with that ID and then show it or send that wine model into a new wine view and attach it to the main content area. And then you've already seen show view, you've seen before. So that's pretty much all that it does. It's really simple. Just create the view and put it where you need it with the data that you need. Um, there's the fun part. And of course, we create the app router and hit start. And that should work now. Refresh this with the new wine button. Let's create a new wine, name it test, save it. There it is, ID 25. Look at all these wines. Let's go back to here, click delete. I don't like test, it doesn't have a picture. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. And if we go back far enough, brings back this up. Alright, so, well, I hope you enjoyed walking through this application, but we're not done. One more video remains where we'll look at how to convert this application to use AMD and require JS. Look forward to that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless and happy coding.